All right. I don't know if everybody can hear me, but I pretty much just ran, I don't know, 2.5 miles for some strange reason just to come to the waterfront at like 1 o'clock in the morning in New York. And like I knew like this is what I would see if I came here. Literally, like, nobody around. It's quiet. You know. It's like calm before the storm. Early morning hours. And I pretty much, like, jogged all the way down here. I don't know why. Started off slowly like a walk. And then progressively... It was either head like downtown or go to the waterfront and like go through this crazy bridge. I'm ready to head back, it doesn't matter now, so. But like, this is the one for us in New York. Pretty much a big town. I don't know what that, but like Manhattan. Freaking cool. Like, I haven't seen this part of the city yet. Of, you know, the water and stuff. I've just seen the downtown, like, parts of New York. New and fresh here. Been here almost two weeks. Like, over two weeks now. This is my first time actually like seeing the waterfront. And there's many of them. I'm basically on a little island. And, and there's many different bridges that go to all, you know, Queens, New Jersey, all these different places in New York. And like what people say about these places is not typically the way that it is now. It's just much larger than any city that you much like ever know. And I've been here like let's say two weeks and I've only experienced a little bit of Manhattan basically. Uh, uptown and downtown. Up to Bronx. But that's about it. Like, and there's so much more to New York, just the whole uh, East Coast. I have yet to experience, but right now my business is here. Uh, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, AI technology, all this kind of stuff. Blockchain brought me here with with some amazing contacts. And this has been like, I don't know, an awakening journey, win or lose, you know? Maybe I ride away in that thing, we don't know. But I have this video here, and I think where they're gonna make it, like to the top of these steps, you know what I'm saying? I uh, have this vision, and maybe I'll look at this later, and I'll be like, wow, you know, I see the light. And that's what brought me here. So I just want to leave this here for now. And start my uh, journey back to my apartment that I am temp temporarily renting. Uh, worked out a deal, it just so happened. Airbnb, met a guy, actually came here because of somebody that I knew that lived in New York, did margin trading, whatever. And then happened to uh, get this random Airbnb that this guy actually done it, has been doing, trading bots and, and, and future contracts and all kinds of stuff like that with uh, 
Wall Street and, and big markets, high dollar stuff that I've never even dreamed of. And uh, it's just been a journey ever since. And I'm just trying to ride the train, you know, trying to do it the right way. <clears throat> Whether that's a, I, I don't think I'm going to look back on this life or this part of my life and be like, I'm going to regret that. All I can say is right now, I've, every day that I'm alive has been this new learning experience. Whether that sounds crazy from just random people and different places I've eaten. I'm vegan, so like I try to go to the, find these vegan eateries and uh, it's just been an adventure every single person I've met everything I've seen uh, my whole misconception of New York uh, is different now I'm sure you know 20 years ago, whatever, it was much worse. Uh, if you want to live in Manhattan, I'm, it's definitely expensive. So it's like upper scale, I would say, most of the most places. Um, everything is very convenient. I could say that one thing that like, uh, if you're from somewhere else and you're just random, Nobody cares about you because there's so many people here. So it's hard to care about somebody. It's weird like that. I don't know. It's a New York kind of thing. But once you communicate and connect with that person, they have so much love. Or at least in my experience, or if this is just a happening in my life at the current moment, but this is my experience or whatever. But that's what I've been going through. And I just kind of want to document that. I don't know why or for whatever reason at 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning that made me run down to the wa waterfront. I've been walking around New York. I've, I've pretty much learned Manhattan in a little bit over the two weeks. This is how you leave your trash out, by the way. You know, you just typically leave it on the curb. I mean, somebody will pick it up. <laughs> but uh, what an amazing experience I, uh, I'll try to keep updating videos maybe I'll um, do a little blog just about the lifestyle I've, I've experienced so much awesome people awesome food I'm going to start recording them like it's I, I want people to other people to experience what I what I've learned whether it's good or bad I don't know how else to explain it but uh I don't know. I have a lot of love for everyone. And uh, right now, I could say, look into blockchain technology, AI, Tesla, everything that you know is going to happen in the future here. Pretty soon, you won't see cab drivers. It's not going to happen. They're, they're just going to be autonomous. They're going to be, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Imagine Disneyland on tracks. Like, it's just going by itself. So... And then a lot of stuff will be under the ground because you can't build up anymore in like these big cities. So uh, a lot of it, you know, most people don't know is under the ground. I don't know. I'm going to just randomly walk up something right here, just in New York. Let me show you something. These things, they're all over the place. It'll pop up. And uh, I saw like literally 50 people with bicycles pop up out of one of these things today and I was like man what is that why what are they doing and they're messengers or whatever you know delivering packages and letters and stuff like that uh, and all I can say is I'm just enjoying my experience I'm sucking everything up like a sponge 
I'm trying to gain like mil- like 20 years, 10 years of technology in a matter of weeks. And I know that maybe this will just be future, uh, future stuff that I need to figure out and, and will help my life and my family and Summer and Landon and Jody and the Finley family and the Lion family of what we have left, you know, I think we'll be okay from here. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep updating. I know this, this has gone on for 10 minutes. Wow. I usually would only make like a two minute video. Maybe I'll edit this later, but, uh, I'll just keep making videos. I don't know what else to do at this point. What an amazing experience. Talk to you guys soon.